unraveling the mass right now. That's what we're doing. This is the time when you undo all the ties that are holding stays, the halyards, anything flopping in the wind while you're in transit. Documenting your unrival, unraveling the mess. Halyards out of the locker. Oh, right there. I'm going to put the shoe on because I want to get it out of my way. Now it's time to put the yoke in place. You have two pins that go on both si one side, one pin on one, one pin on the other. This goes right over the dagger board. That's cute. Those to me. Yes. Or throw them down on the ground. Or Patty. Or whoever's near you. Yeah, because you only get hung up on that. That happens. Anchored there. Just probably leave it so everyone knows the. The halyards are stored in the hatch. So we have to open the hatch, free the halyards. So now you can roll back the mast to take the traveling red flag off to indicate to people that you're towing something very huge that they can't see, flag. Yeah. Now it's time to pin the mast to the yoke so, with oh, the I see long pin the goes through the yoke through the mast. I see what's gonna happen. She just pulls that yoke up, right? She gets that. Right? Oh, you said you use all three of those. Every, I use <laughs> Just in case. Four, though I don't use the main. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Just confirming for everybody, the pin is in. Good yes. Double jacket. Just making sure. She's feeding through here. these, right? With the trailer winch, now we have to release some rope here to put on deck for connecting the halyards to raise the mast. So we taped 
Oh, they got a the same section one? here so we know how much to pull yeah, out. It's, it's an auto so we're looking too. for the yeah. tape, which we're going to change that to a white color because it's black. It matches the rope so we can't really see it. It's all the way over there. White yeah. tape. I got mine Please. ordered. Mine's coming in the mail. Uh, it's amazing. Hello, fellow chat man owners. Hello. I'm glad you didn't think you stole your phone. I bet you did, but you know why? Don't worry. And who? I just got the moon. I'm so irritated. No. See you next weekend. I'll be in to get ready for the 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 I'll No, that was funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see, I see. We wanted to have it up here with yours. Yep, maybe next year, I guess. Next year? Why are you saying next year? Well, if this comes back. I mean, next time. Next time this comes back to watch well, you come to Chautauqua. I could. I invited you last night. I know. Just your car is holding you back. Just my car is holding me back. You know, this is so. Um, yeah. Is what? Uh, I just have to be so careful. Oh, just keep, just keep doing it. Don't. You know? Don't be falling. Yeah. He's got the part or something. Well, well I'm going to talk about the Oh, okay. And then we'll have to both drive it over so that I can drive him back. Yeah. And get now the gym pole goes into the yoke, the halyard, and rope go over so the right. the gym pole. So we, we need here, to so. yes, put the okay, halyards and rope over the gym pole before go. we put it in Perfect. the yoke. That'll make it easier to just be where it needs to be. Maybe pull the yoke out. You can't. Well, I bet you could. Dick. He's, he's close. I would try that first. Just to see. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Put it back in. It's perfect. It's gonna work. Whose idea was this? That was smart. All right. All right. Now the torque, the rope is over the top. Is that okay? Uh, that'll be fine because once you raise it, it'll uh, be free. Let's see what you can do to pass this up the deck. Guide the rope through the pulpit up on deck to the man connecting the halyards overlapping the gin pole through the yoke that guy metal to metal. No, it go snap shackle to rope. <laughs> snack. Snap shackle to rope and then you and then you bring these back on themselves? Those aren't snap. That's not a snap <laughs> Yeah. No. 
no, no, in that loop that in you're in. Loop. In the loop you're in. Uh, guy, I had a guy. Don't get frustrated. I, I had a guy who came it's to my. It's not obvious. I had a guy. A guy came to my classroom, and he said, "Why don't you just hold?" Okay, okay. Just, just hold. It's about the right length. Remember, where's that little piece? Honey, of that tape is not Tape's working gone. for us. Tape's gone. Is you have to go up to the clutches and so pull a bunch of stuff back. Okay. Because if you start it from yeah, here, yeah, you don't want to start it from there. Run out of room before the back. Okay. So I'm just holding. Yeah, because I don't want to pull the plug. No, you should be letting go. So that's why I have to cancel They've said the hold. Yeah. Okay. I thought he had Let to be. Let him have as much as he wants. He's got to get that over top of the okay. yoke. Over the top of the yoke. I think up to the yoke. Up to it? Up to it. I don't think David went over it. He went up to it. Here is where okay. you need to get the proper distance from the gin pole to the halyards that are connected to the rope to the gin pole. So you have enough rope halyard to pull the mast up so you don't run out of room. So that's why we have the tape on the rope of the winch rope to indicate that. And then again, the, the forestay is not like tangled or anything, right? It'll you can untangle it. It'll untangle it? Yeah. Because mine usually well Does that mean crank? Yes, please. Just checking. Yeah, this, this was at an angle before. It might have put a lot more pressure on it, but still. Once you start raising the mast, you do want to stop clear. and see if anything is Looks clear. Like hooked on something. The stays that keep the mass from going left to right, you might want to make sure they're loose and not too taunt. No, these white lines. These. This came. Yeah. Just make sure they're not getting too tight. All right. One of these clamps. Also, you have the side stays for the almas. Make sure they don't get hooked on anything, also. This right here catches all the time. This is the second or the third. See that? need to be on the outside instead of the inside or what? They they keep moving, but yeah, you could do it outside, yep. Okay, okay. But sometimes they get put back inside there. Right. Well, we put, I put them inside. We put them inside. Oh, maybe start putting them out. Maybe leave, leave them out? Yep, that's what I would do. Frank Dick. Yep. 
Now it should get easier. What? It should get easier. Oh. I thought you said take it easy. No, no, no. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right. Hold on one second. So he's go. Wait a minute. So now, how does this work? Now the mast is almost set. No, we got the tension on the winch until you attach the forestay, and everything's free. Once you get the pin in the forestay. All right. Good job. Happy sailing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks very expensive. Oh my goodness. It's only three thousand thirty three dollars. It wasn't three thousand. It wasn't thirty three hundred. Okay, you're good. Just for a second. Yeah, I mean yeah. Pretty much that's it. Other than doing all this here. Yeah.